The horrible Houston Texans finally parted ways with one of their franchise players this morning. Now, the Deshaun trade didn't go down. No, they didn't somehow reacquire Nuke and then trade him for even less. No. Uh, but they did uh, cut superstar defensive end J.J. Ugh. Now, the Texans and J.J. parting, it was expected this offseason, but... It's a little bit shocking. I mean, just when it finally happened. And it's a bit surprising since uh, he wasn't traded uh, with a reworked contract. I think that he could have had some value out there to uh, some team. But uh, J.J. addressed this with the Houston fans. Of course, he has formed a very strong bond with that fan base and city that's going to last forever. Uh, but he did put out that he asked the team for his release. And the Texans did him a solid. Because if they traded him, even though, yes, he would have had input of where he went, blah, blah, blah. And would have been tied in with whatever the new deal uh, would have been. But by cutting him now, he is free to sign with any team right now. So uh, because he was cut, he doesn't have to wait until March 17th, uh, where all the other uh, jabroni free agents with expiring contracts uh, have to wait. So he gets to jump on free agency, he gets to suck up some of that sweet, sweet reduced salary cap money. Uh, Watt was due to make $17.5 million this season in the final year of his deal, none of it guaranteed. So it makes sense. It's a new day, new dawn with the Texans, new GM Nick Casario just cleaning the books and looking to start over from scratch. Uh, now, J.J. is going to be 32 in March, but still has some gas left in the tank. A number 11 overall pick in the 2011 draft. One pick before Christian Ponder, by the way. Uh, has been a three-time defensive player of the year, eight-time All-Pro, five-time Pro Bowler, led the league in sacks twice, uh, as well as was 2017 Walter Payton Man of the Year for his amazing work uh, for the city of Houston after Hurricane Harvey. Has 641 career pressures, which is insane. 101 career sacks, 172 tackles for loss, as well as 25 forced fumbles. And last year on a bad Texans defense, J.J. still posted 52 tackles, five sacks on 45 pressures, and forced two fumbles uh, with an 85.5 PFF grade, seventh best in the NFL amongst defensive ends, and also played a full 16-game season for only the second time in the last five years. So his health, which has been a big question as of late, was finally on point. Now, this is not a eulogy because JJ still has some good football left in him. Like he, sure, he is not the defensive player of the year, JJ ugh, uh, of yesteryear, but he's still a damn solid uh, defensive lineman with probably two, three, maybe even four good years left. And we flowed the idea of the Vikings being in, and uh, probably not. Yeah, you know, they're probably going to be sucking hind teeth unless they do move to that three, uh, three, four, where JJ coming into the Vikings defense, probably kicking inside uh, at three tech, maybe some, playing some early down defensive end opposite Daniel Hunter. It would be sexy. It would be great to get that veteran leadership in here, but nah, now like chances are he's probably going to sign with the Packers, probably for the league minimum, uh, his childhood team, just for the chance to play with Aaron Rodgers. Cool. Uh, he'll be slight, slight upgrade over Tyler Lancaster, but. Now. Or potentially ooh, going to Pittsburgh, playing with his brother TJ. He would be phenomenal at defense, man. He would. I mean, both of them are three, four teams, like he's played in his entire career with the Texans. But yeah, it is the end of an era because you think of players that have been associated with teams for so long. JJ Watt, Texans, long time. Uh, and JJ is going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer. He's going to go in as a, a Texan. But. He's moving on, and the franchise is definitely pivoting hard. And if and when they do punt on Deshaun, it is a full hard reset for Texans fans. So, I mean, think of it. Two years ago, you had Nuke, you had Deshaun, you had J.J. Watt, and you were good to go. And then this uh, upcoming season, whoosh, all gone. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, be your thoughts. J.J. Watt being cut by the Houston Texans. Let us know in the comments section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support that work post on the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.